welcome back to today's video so i'm shannon i'm a mum of one to a little girl called esne you can probably see her she's like sat here bless her she's in her little toy car she's just playing with a few toys she's having her milk so if you didn't know already esme is tube fed so she's just connected up here and then she's hopefully going to go for a nap because she is really tired today she just had a little nap in the car i just popped to aldi because today is thursday and it's the first day of the baby event today so i popped to aldi to get a few bits because i know that there was some things that i wanted to get um and i thought she would sleep in the car but she did not sleep on the way there she didn't sleep around the shop on the way home she literally slept for like maybe five ten minutes well probably not even ten minutes to be honest and then as soon as i got out of the car she woke up um yeah and she hasn't gone back to sleep so she's sat in her chair next to me at the minute she's gonna have her milk and then she's definitely gonna go for a nap and then she's gonna have some lunch so the time is about half 11 ish maybe so hopefully she'll be ahead for the video because like i said she's really tired and the two dogs are walking around so you're probably gonna see them as well they're obsessed with the pile of stuff that i bought next to me they love anything that's new they love looking at like in the bags and also there's a few like little baby toys here so obviously they're going to be obsessed with them so let's just get into today's video. <laughs> so I spent £62, I think maybe £62.99 or something like that, which is a lot of money for Aldi. But there was a few things that I wanted to get. So if you don't know already, we cloth nappy. So we use reusable nappies for Esme. Um, and because of the baby event, they have them on a good offer today. So normally these nappies are like £15.99. You can buy them a little bit cheaper if you look at certain places. Usually around £11 at the cheapest. But in the baby event, they do them for £8.99. So it's an absolute bargain. We do have like probably maybe like 12 of these nappies or something. I don't think I've bought any of them brand new to be honest. There is a massive, like it probably sounds a bit weird that I buy nappies second hand. But there is a massive reusable nappy Facebook group, like community. And so many nappies are sold off. So I've literally sold about 10, maybe more in the last two days. So they're just ones that like are wraps that go over a night nappy that I don't use or a few like prints that I bought that were really cheap prints that I wanted to replace with better nappies. It's not necessarily better nappies but just things that we find work for us. So obviously every baby is different, they fit differently, every nappy is different so, and every brand is different so I really just wanted to, well I bought loads to begin with to try loads of different brands out and I find that these are our everyday nappies just because they're, they're velcro so Sam finds them really easy to do my mum finds them easy to do and obviously when Esme goes to the nursery in a couple of months uh, nursery will find these easy to do because they're just about pro like disposables so Aldi only do like I think about four or five different prints and these are the prints that are kind of unique to Aldi so they do them at every baby event so I'll show you the three nappies that I got so I've got two of the same print because I've pretty much got every print going I think there's maybe like one print that I haven't got which is like a red zebra and there was this snail one which I haven't got so I did buy two of these which I know is a bit excessive and in a couple of months I'll probably like regret it and probably want to sell them because I'm a bit of a print snob I like collecting the nice prints which sounds stupid because literally your baby should be using poos in them <laughs> but I do like collecting the prints so this one is snails it's got little rainbows apples and snails and it's just grey and obviously these are like gender neutral as well so you could use them for any baby so these are all in one nappies which basically just means there's like um an insert already attached and you stuff it in so i guess i might as well open these to show you because i'm 100 going to use it <laughs> there is people that like try and resell these on on facebook for like more than what they even cost at Aldi obviously if you were to buy these in anywhere else they're more expensive I think the going rate is usually like 12 13 pounds so oh it looks so nice it's such a fresh nappy so this is the outside of the nappy and as you can see it's got these poppers on I'm just gonna keep this brief because this is obviously not a nappy video and basically you pop it down to fit your baby so Esme sometimes has it on the lowest one so like the smallest setting but i'm just going to put it on that one for now and see how she gets on actually because um because she's not crawling yet she's starting to get like chunky thighs and stuff so they're getting a little bit tight on that setting so if i have it on that it might be a bit better so my camera's doing this weird flashy thing it always does it ignore it but basically in these nappies like in the back bit there is this insert which comes out so fresh and soft <laughs> So this is the insert and it's attached so basically you just put your hand in there and then you just stuff it into the back so easy to stuff because it's so fresh and soft so obviously we're in like a harder hard water area here so no nappies stay this soft for long 
So that is it stuffed, and then you would just put like a booster or a liner there, and then obviously that would just go into as most box. So these will all be pre-washed as well because otherwise they don't like they have to be washed a few times before they get their maximum absorbency. That's the way these work. So anyway, I got two of that print, and then I got one of the ladybirds. I have got one of this print, but I did buy it second hand, and the Valkyrie is not the best. I think I bought it for like four pounds or something. So I did just think this is like my favourite print in the Bambino. So I did just get one of them. So again, these are Bambi Bambino Mio Mio Solo Nappy. <laughs> So if you've been watching my recent videos as well, you know that I'm starting vlogging or recording on my new tripod that I got for Christmas. Again, it's still the same issue. The tripod just falls down. No matter how much I tighten it, it just falls down. So unfortunately, I keep having to move the camera up and it's just not making a good video. I really don't know why it won't stay on my phone. I think my phone is just far too heavy. So yeah, those, I've got three. So they were $8.99 each. <laughs> so that was obviously a big bulk of what I got. Next up, I've got these stacking cups. So I've seen one of my friends have these and their baby loves them. Also, one of our stay and play groups that we go to on a Friday has these and I've seen that the kids absolutely love them. And I've seen these in Audi for quite a few weeks now and they've been 9 99 And every time I, get, I say to Sam, like, should we just get them? Should we just put them in the trolley? Eh? And we haven't. These are called My First Green Toys. It says it teaches maths. Um, it's got no BPA, something else, PVC, I don't really know stacking cups and basically i think they're just a specific type of plastic they're earth friendly so the what six volumetric cups nests or stacks upside down grateful water play so i just thought these would be really good so let's see if we can open them so these were 6.99 anyway so i just thought that was such a good offer considering like how much they have been and i did think like should i or shouldn't i and i just thought you know what like i've been wanting them for a while for sna and obviously like toys you can either resell them or they will last for future babies so it's just definitely worth it in my eyes everyone's getting excited <laughs> here we are so here's the toys like this is obviously the biggest and you can stack them all like this so they all fit like that or you can like stack them in a tower so so they stack like that <laughs> i don't know if you can see oh as is getting really excited and he says made toys oh that one's stuck inside there we go and there's a really little one on top you would love to play with these in the bath wouldn't you and i think it's not for a first birthday probably not for a first birthday because we've bought quite a few things unless somebody else wants to get it for her but for christmas next year if not we're going to buy her like some sort of, well i want to buy her an activity table for the garden so like sand and water and toys and stuff like that and these would be perfect for playing outside or in the paddling pool or just anything really so we have got a paddling pool for our first ber first birthday so at one point in the summer aldi had these kids paddling pools and it was really cheap um, like four ninety nine something. Then it's a bit lit, like ladybird, I think. So I did buy that anyway. So yeah, she could use these in there, or even like if we didn't use it as a padding pool, we could take some of our ball kit balls outside and we could use it for that. So let's turn the camera back on me. So that's that anyway. That was six ninety nine. Your bunny's here as well. So next up, the only food item, actually I bought one of the food items, but I bought strawberries. These are just £1.55 or something like that, but Esme loves strawberries, so I thought I'd get some of them for lunch because I did go to the village shops yesterday and neither had them, so I did get some of them. Next up, they had loads of these, that's not my box. Esme's got a couple of these and she does actually really like them. Um, they've got like all the different touchy-feely things on the different pages and in the baby event there, two ninety nine. Aldi whereas if you buy them from like Amazon or anything like that they're between $4.99 and $6.99 so it's definitely a good bargain to buy them at the baby event but I couldn't justify buying a couple I just thought I'd just get one for today because we have got quite a few haven't we Esme? We have got quite a few and she does love these <laughs> and so do I <laughs> but um yeah I think we've got that's not my which ones we've got that's not my angel that's not my car that's not my robot 
Uh, maybe that's not my dog. I don't know. So next up, I bought two of these. These were on offer for, I think, $2.99. And they are the Nubby Comforters from, obviously, birth. You can use them. But I just love these. And also, one of our friends that I used to work with them on... They're not yours. One of our friends that I used to work with, her, his girlfriend who my mum knows because mum works with her too she's having twins oh it's just, it makes a squeaky noise <coughs> me yeah it does have a squeaking actually i think somewhere but i'm not gonna squeak it because of the dogs but anyway these were 2 dollars each i think and they're having twins so i think you know, i'm just gonna do them a little hamper i did give them a bag last week of like baby clothes and stuff that were Esme's that we don't use anymore or the ones that I don't want to keep. So I'm just going to buy them a few bits of the hamper. So I thought one of these each will do the twins and then I could just buy them some... I've got some Infocol that's brand new sealed. They can have that. Um, what else have I got? I've got some like nipple cream that I never hey. used because obviously Esme was never breastfed. So just things like that really. Next up I did buy these pack of fingers, they're like the mini snack bags. Esme was absolutely packing his bag in the shop, she was pulling it apart which is why it's so crumpled. That was a pound anyway and Esme loves chocolate fingers so obviously I can open the little bag and just give it like one at a time. Next up I did buy this pram toy, it's like an ultra snuff and snuggly. She was chewing on the cardboard in the shop so it's not in the best condition but it matches something else that I got. So this has got like stretchy things on the bottom that you can pull and like teeth on. And I just thought she could play with this and I wouldn't mind her having that like in the pram or in the car or just anything really. So we loved that, didn't we, Esme? Shall we see if she can open it for you? Also, really wants it. <laughs> Mummy just have to get some scissors, okay? Oh, actually. There we go. Really? No, it's Esme's. Cute. If you can't tell already, Esme is extremely spoiled. <laughs> and next up, I got this comforter. This matches the koala I just showed you. And these were three ninety nine each, I think. So I just thought that I really love this. Esme absolutely loves comforters. She will not sleep without her bunny. So she's got this bunny. And she's actually got about three or four of this pink. All right, it's yours. She's got about three or four of that pink bonnet, and she will not sleep without them. She takes them everywhere with her. She just will not sleep without them. So, yeah, we love them. And then I've also got like one white one that's like a giraffe that I got bought for her. And then, um, actually, this morning I found this. My mom got this first me for Christmas, and I've been saying to my mom for weeks now that this got chucked because I think I was kept saying it got chucked in the wrapping paper bin couldn't find it anywhere and I thought that honestly it was brand new for Christmas so I thought it was lost. So this was from my mum that has made for Christmas Day and it's um it's like a little deer and it's got this lovely light pink velvety soft touch and then it's got like a floral on the back and this is the cutest thing but I honestly thought it was lost so I just found it today. I just had a sort of Esme's toy basket that's next to me and I actually put some toys in one of these cupboards behind me because it was full of like three pockets of nappies so I just sorted it out and put it in there and then I found this so my mum's gonna be really pleased about that so yeah that's the touchy feely thing anyway it's like a comforter this is like the blanket and then it's got the koala attached it's got like a little rattle as well isn't it Esme? Mum's got her used to this and then finally from the Audi baby event I've got some Bonjella. So we use this a lot upstairs. I did buy like an, the Ashton's and Parsons gel. Um, and I just don't really like that. It has got a brush on. People say it's easy. But for me the brush feels weird. Like I don't like the feel of that. And the thought of that going on is my thumbs. It's just really weird. Like it creeps me out. It's just a weird. I can imagine it's a really weird feeling. So we have used this Bonjella for a couple of months now. We use it. We keep it next to the bed. And I use it not every night but. I used to, uh, it, there was a point where she was going through a bad patch where I used it quite often and now I probably use it once or twice a week if that but we are running out because I've, I'm on my second bottle well my second little uh, tube upstairs uh, this is not yours well it is yours but you can't have it you've got loads of toys look look how many toys you've got here you go you go see it soon so yeah we go through this quite a lot and this is the third tube that we're going to have this is obviously going to stay sealed for a bit because it's still got a bit left but this is 2 99 in the baby event but finally i ordered some more cloth nappies so i know that i got them ones and you've already seen them 
but I placed an order with an eco shop called Pumpkin Browns. So this is obviously not sponsored or anything like that. But that's the little logo. So this just came this morning, just as I got back from Aldi. Literally, like, I'd been in the house like five minutes, if that, and it came. And I placed this order a couple of days ago. So this nappy shop is in Scotland. They sell, like, nappies, like, things for new mums, such as, like, breast pads, cloth sanitary towels, um, wooden toys. She also sells some second-hand clothes that were her daughter's, I think, from, like, Zara and stuff. So it's all, like, branded stuff. It's me, really, you're so dramatic. So I just thought I'd show this at the end of this video to make it like a little jewel haul. But um, there's not like too much really because obviously nappies are expensive. But I just placed this order after Christmas and I just thought I wanted like a couple more to add to my stack. She also does like secondhand nappies. So it's a section called Pre-Love Nappies. And she sells the ones that she no longer uses. So obviously I'm going to strip them and wash them. But I just thought that it'd be really nice. So first of all, I only bought one item of clothing. These were £2, I think. And these are Zara 12 to 18 months leggings. So they're obviously too big for Esme. And I've never bought anything from Zara before. But I've heard loads of good things. But I just saw them and I thought they would be perfect. And obviously I'm placing an order anyway. So I might as well get them. But like I said, they are second hand. They're perfect condition. And they're Zara 12 to 18 months leggings. So next up, I bought two wet bags so basically these once your nappy is dirty you put them in here and then wash them so these are actually it was like a boxing day sale but obviously I didn't buy them on boxing day but there was a sale and normally the nappies are 16 pound 20 and i got them for 13 pounds no the 16.50 i got them for 13 20 so it's quite a good buy i can't remember how much these were but i got two because again when esme goes to nursery these bags fit like one nappy and these are really mini nappy bags so when Esme is in nursery, I know that I've heard things that nurseries like to have one bag per nappy, whereas at home we use like a large one of these bags and put like the whole day's worth of nappies or until it's full. So I did. I need to stock up on these. I've got like three already. So I haven't got these two prints, but I have actually got these prints in nappies, but I haven't got these prints in the little bags. So I thought they were quite cute and they were my only, the only prints. Esme, will you stop my darling? You're so cheeky. Look at all your toys. you got so many. Sit up, look. Sit up. <laughs> so these prints I have in nappies, but not in bags. Bless you. So we picked up the sunshine one, and it's just like it's just got a little zip here. And like I said, they're just waterproof bags. These are actually perfect even if you don't use cloth nappies. You can put like your swimming costume. So if you took your kids swimming, you could put their swimming costume in here. If you bought a big one, you could put your towel in. You can put um like I know like pee clothes. You could put sanitary towels like i i do use cloth sanitary towels i know that that's probably a bit tmi for some people so i was talking about doing a video about cloth sanitary towels and everything you need to know if anyone's interested in that let me know in the comments down below so i do have like really many ones of these like literally half the size called cloth sanitary towel bags they're from the same brand um and basically i put all of the dirty pads in there and they go in the wash with the nappies so obviously you do like a pre-wash and then a main wash so nothing whatever comes out in the pre-wash then when you do the main wash the water's already clean in the wash machine and it's just like sanitizing it all Esme, honestly this kid is unreal what are you doing Esme, what are you doing you'll be sick <laughs> She's honestly insane. So anyway, let's get on with the nappies. I've got three. This brand is Barber and Bay, the same brand as the wet bags. I've talked about this brand so many times when I've done cloth nappy hauls. <laughs> so this is one. These are all from the new collection. So these two are from the same collection, and this is from the Christmas collection. But I did really want it. So this is called Fairy Light. I'm on... The same thing as the um, Mia Sodos. They've got like the three buttons down here, and you just pop them to your size. Well, your kid's size and they come with some new boosters as well these boosters are honestly like the softest thing obviously these need washing and they never stay soft again because our water is hard water so they don't, don't say this soft but again these will need pre-washing because then they will hold more water like well we <laughs> but i'm so excited to use these this is actually i don't know like i'm slightly disappointed this isn't as nice in person as i thought it was online i think the color in person is a bit like a bit green when it's like supposed to be black but it's still really nice it's called fairy lights so i'm just popping this down to fit as many size so again these are double gusset they're so soft inside so they will need pre-washing so i'm now joined by esme and really still harassing me so 
again this one is the second print that i got it's called eucalyptus i don't know if i said the other ones called fairy lights but this one was one of my favorites and i had to get it like i'm just obsessed with this print and all the ones that i got today are actually so unisex so apart from obviously pink ladybirds and i've got a sunflower one as well but the ones from Baba and boo are so unisex you could just use them for so many and also like if you were to resell Baba and boo they sell for quite high so they sell for like almost retail price so you, it's a no-brainer really like i love using them obviously they'll last for all your babies and then you can then resell them as well so the final Baba and boo one that i got was this robin's one and i just absolutely loved it i don't think i'm going to use it for christmas it's a, definitely an all-rounder for me i don't think it's too christmasy at all like they're just little birds really but Again, it comes with the um, two inserts. I use one Baba and Boo insert with each nappy that comes with it, and then I use a microfiber as well. So the microfiber's not Baba and Boo, but that's fine. And then the final thing that I got today was this Bear and Boho nappy. So this was secondhand on her site, and it was £10. And I just thought I'd get it. I've never had one of these nappies, which is why I've not forked out for full price, because I don't know how much they are full price, to be honest. But this is it. I just think it's absolutely stunning. So it's, it's hard to tell because there's nothing inside it. So it's beautiful sunflowers, this is the back, and then it says bear and boho on there. The camera keeps dropping, it's literally driving me insane. So what I really liked about this nappy is the wrap itself is actually double gusset. So, if you see here, it's got like the double, it's really hard to show you because I'm holding this way, but it's got like the, the hem here and then also the hem there. And then this is the insert that I got with it, I think this is £4. And this is bear and boho as well and this just poppers inside and this is obviously a third gusset as well this is double gusset too so it's got like the inset bit there and then the other bit there next up i did just buy two of the bells bums inserts these are just random these are just bamboo i just thought they're super slim like i could put these in one of them um velcro bambino nappies and you wouldn't even know because they're so slim and then i could put another booster on top to make them last longer for when it gets bigger so I just thought they were absolutely perfect um, and obviously like I said I've got the three spare Bambino and um, three spare Babbo and Boone inserts too because I only use one per nappy so it's going to be absolutely fine. So that's everything that I've got for today's video. I'm really sorry about the tripod again. It's, so, it's really annoying for me so it must be really annoying for you that I keep having to lift the camera up. It's like I just said it and it literally just happened I had to lift it up again. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you like this haul. This is probably going to be, well, I've got a few hauls. I don't know in what order they're going to go up. Maybe I'll put this up today because obviously it's the sale, the baby event today. So maybe I'll put this live today. But I have got a few hauls coming up that I haven't posted yet. I think I've got a B&M one. It's just a really small one. And you clap him. I think I've got another one. Oh, Morrison's one. It was like a reduced Morrison's food shop haul. So yeah, maybe I'll put that up as well. So those are the two hauls that I've got coming, I think. So if you're looking forward to them, please give this video a like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. Say goodbye, Esme. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, he's fine, Liam.